I'm Andrew, and I'm setting out to make better videos for diesel enthusiasts. Follow along as I review products, do how-tos, and share my personal trucks here on Just Diesels. When it comes to modifying vehicles, everyone has something different that excites them. Some guys are into power, some people are into paint. Uh, for me, it's suspension. Suspension is what gets me excited. It's what I look forward to most when modifying a truck, especially. Um, and today we are finally going to be tackling the suspension on my third gen. Now, I probably don't need to tell you guys this, but stock third gens ride like garbage. This one has 40,000 miles and it still rides like garbage. The front end feels like a complete boat. The sway bar is super stiff. The rear feels like it's solid mounted to the frame. Um, it's just, it's bad. And so there's a lot of room you can make up on these trucks. Granted, they'll never be as smooth as the brand new ones, even after all the right parts, but there is so much room to gain on these trucks with the proper suspension system. So today we're gonna to be installing a Carly Dominator system. And if you're not familiar about that, I will talk about it more in the late video later. But for now, I'm gonna take it down to CJC off-road, let them tear into the truck. By the way, if you guys are looking for suspension and any of that kind of stuff, these guys are so good. Um, that's who originally built my first third gen. I got to be really good friends with those guys when I had that truck done. Um, and literally just, if you're looking for performance suspension, they are so good to work with. So reach out to them, hit them up, super happy with it. But let's tear into this thing. Now, the last time I was at CJC Off-Road, I filmed a whole steering video. It was a deep dive into kind of the best upgrades for third gen steering. And in it, we talked about parts like the track bar and things like that. That's also gonna be included in this kit. So let me run you through what's actually part of the Carly Dominator suspension system. At its core, this is a three inch height increase system. And it's really just to increase travel. Uh, and speaking of travel, it's gonna pull 10 inches front and 12 inches rear using a three inch diameter King shock. Now, Carly kind of goes above and beyond with all their systems. You'll notice that a lot of them include more parts and a lot of them include more price tag than pretty much everyone else in the market. And that's because they're kind of going to a, a degree that no one else is doing on these trucks. So let's start with the shocks. So the shocks themselves are a three inch diameter King shock. And instead of using an existing shock that King had that was a 3.0 body, they went completely custom. So not just the tuning inside the shock, but the actual shock bodies, the length of the hoses, the reservoirs, the shafts, the piston even, the shim stack inside, all of it is completely custom to Carly's specs. Now you'll also notice that these shocks aren't the normal color. That's because I had them completely custom coded. There's a company called DC Shock Services here in San Dimas, California. I sent these shocks out to them to have them totally custom coded. So I'm a big mountain biker and my inspiration for these shocks was the Kashima Fox 40s and rear shocks from Fox. So it's gonna be that kind of like gold shaft color. I wanted to tie the body in with the wheel. So it's a bronze Cerakote. And then I did a black uh, anodizing on all the end caps and hoses. So these were actually the shocks out of my old truck that needed some new life to them. So I had them rebuilt by DC Shock Services and completely gone through and fully custom coated. And I think they turned out awesome. I've never custom coated a set of shocks before, but now that I've done it, I am totally hooked. It just makes them look so cool. And with a Cerakote on the body uh, and the anodizing on the end caps, these things will hold up really well. Um, the Cerakote is almost impervious to everything. So it's actually stronger than powder coat, but thinner. So that's why it's really good for shock coating. So I'm super excited with how these shocks turned out. The three inch Dominator short arm is kind of the best all around setup for the third gen platform to do everything. Uh, if you wanna go really hard off road, long arm Dominator is the way to go. They have a whole separate shock setup, whole different coils, everything else. Maybe I'll talk about that later in a different video, but in this one, I ended up going short arm because I didn't wanna cut off my arm mounts on the front of the truck. I just thought it was too clean. This 40,000 mile truck, I wanted to go with a mostly bolt on system. Now, when I say mostly bolt on, the thing is that these shocks are so big that there is some modification that has to happen to the truck. So the front coil buckets actually have to be drilled out so that you can fit the three inch diameter shock through the coil bucket. And at the rear of the truck, you actually have to notch out the frame. Now Carly includes a completely weld in bracing bracket for the rear, no one else does that, but that lets you clear the shock at full bottom out and actually support the frame. Now, if you're really running these trucks hard, they also have full weld on rear shock mounts. So you can pull the bed off, weld those on. Again, no one else includes anything like that, but it's a really cool touch. 
Now in terms of springs up front, Carly uses a three inch progressive coil. This is gonna have all of their post treatment stuff so that it is basically as resistant to sag and corrosion as you can possibly make a spring. Um, it is going to be a progressive rate coil that is set specifically to work with their shocks. And it's a specific 03 to 09 coil. So a lot of other brands will use the same coils from 94 to 13 because they physically fit, but Carly makes a specific coil for the weight of the 03 to 09 trucks. They make one for diesel and one for Hemi. So this is the diesel version of that coil specific to the truck. Now, while we're up front, let's talk about a couple other supporting pieces that I have in the front end of this truck. So you'll notice that there is a shock tower on top of the coil bucket. The reason for this is one, to accommodate the massive three inch diameter shock, but two, this is gonna be a through bolt style shock. So instead of this factory one where it's a pin top, there's a little stem sticking out, this is a through bolt style shock much stronger and so these fabricated towers that Carly makes by hand at their facility in Lake Elsinore are going to allow that to fit on the truck. Now speaking of handmade in Lake Elsinore, I also went with the Carly control arms. These are the high clearance version so this is going to allow 37 inch tire fitment on these trucks turning lock to lock. These arms feature a spherical joint at both ends that means they're completely free to move so you can actually take the arm and spin it around one of the joints. That is going to be a big improvement in ride quality just in those arms alone. So on my old truck, I actually did one of the kits and then the arms later, and I couldn't believe the arm improvement just because those joints are so free moving that they actually allow the front end to move. And with a short arm, you need all the movement that you can get. So these arms really allow that. They're also a half inch longer than stock, and that's not to push the axle forward, it's just to center the axle after the height increase. You wanna be careful about pushing axles forward because nothing else attached to the axle is getting moved. So this is just going to center the axle after that three inch height increase. Now also up front is Carly's track bar. I talked about this in my steering video, so if you want a more in-depth thing, please go watch that video. But basically this is, hands down, the best track bar in the market. Uh, it is the strongest track bar. It is the probably longest lasting track bar in the market. And that's because it's using joints at both sides of the track bar. So most brands are gonna use like a Heim on the axle side, and then the frame side, they're using a rubber bushing. That's cool, it keeps costs lower, but if you want the best of the best, Carly's the way to go because they're using a full spherical joint. They call it their cub joint. This is a completely proprietary joint that they developed in-house. It's fully encapsulated with a welded gusset. And that joint is again, free moving and 360 degrees. So the reason for that is that it actually allows the suspension to articulate more freely. So with a bushing, you'll actually get bind as the track bar has to move through the travel and as the axle moves slightly forward and back through the arc of the control arms. With this joint, because it's spherical, it can actually twist this way. It can rotate freely up and down, but there's absolutely no lateral movement, which is what you want to prevent in a track bar. So hands down the best track bar. I talked about it more in the other video if you want to go watch it, but stoked on this setup. Now, the next thing up front is the sway bar. And if there's one thing you can do on your truck, if it is otherwise stock and you can only do one Carly part, this is it. This is such a huge improvement on these trucks. The factory sway bar is extremely stiff. And so what happens is if the front end has to articulate, it can't. It just throws all that energy into the cab and you get thrown into the side window. So with the Carly Torsion sway bar, that torsion bar part of the sway bar was carefully developed to allow perfect free movement of the front end so you can articulate into and out of a driveway, over a rut, over rocks, things like that, and not have it all get transferred into the cab and throw you around. At the same time though, it's still stiff enough that it controls body roll in the truck. So it doesn't feel like a boat, especially when you pair it with some of Carly's tuned shocks the two of them together really prevent body roll and it makes the truck really fun to drive. Now limit straps are also another key part of this puzzle. A lot of brands will skip out on limit straps, but the reason limit straps are so necessary is that because if the truck gets airborne, if it's over a whoop section, anything where the axle droops out fully, you don't want it to be supported by the shocks. You want it to be supported by a limit strap. So limit strap bolts to the coil bucket, welds to the axle, and that supports the full weight of the axle when full droop happens. So. If I jump the truck, the shocks aren't topping out. What's happening is the limit straps are supporting the full weight of the front end of the truck. Now at the back of the truck, there's something that a lot of you guys are gonna be very interested in, and that is the Carly full replacement Lee Springs. These springs are custom made by Deaver to Carly specs, and you notice they're actually a lot bigger than the factory Lee Springs. So at first glance, a lot of people would say, how can that ride better? There's like twice as many Lee Springs. But the whole magic of it is it's a higher count of thinner Lee Springs. And what you get with that is more compliance. So this one's actually gonna have about 15% uh, payload reduction, something like that. So it's really modest payload and towing reduction. But the trade-off is that you get a massively more compliant ride. So if I ever needed to tow with this truck beyond what I'm capable with with those springs, just throwing it to the Timberins or what, something like that, totally fine. On my old truck, I actually had no problems towing with it. 
uh, even with the Carly Springs. And so I think they're a really good balance of compliance, smooth ride, off-road capability, insane articulation, and still being able to use the truck as a truck. But suspension is only part of the puzzle. Now, originally my plan had been to do a new 18 inch wheel that was coming out, but thanks to everything going on, it has been delayed. So I am actually rocking the old 20 by nine and a half, 5.5 inch backspace Trevity wheels that I had on my last truck. So this truck's gonna look very similar. I also have that wrap in the same 37, 13.5, 20 Nitto Ridge Grappler tires as my last truck. Um, they're new tires, but I absolutely love those tires. Hands down my favorite, just as an all around performer. Um, they're quiet, really good traction, ice, snow, sand, gravel, rock, literally anything you can throw it at. I just think they're an awesome all around tire and I've yet to find anything else that balances everything else as an all around setup as well. Now I did have to do some trimming for this. I have a whole video about fitting 37s on my channel if you wanna go check that out, but I did have to trim the fender liners, a little bit of the metal, as well as the pinch bolt on the front end of the truck. In the rear, no trimming, but in the front, there's definitely some trimming involved. You can go watch that other video if you wanna see what all it takes. Um, but I love these wheels. I love this whole setup. Now these wheels were done uh, in a custom bronze powder coat, and I tried to match that as closely as I possibly could with the shocks. Next time I'll probably Cerakote both, but I had these powder coated already, so I matched the shocks to the wheels, but it helps to kind of tie everything together. One thing I really wanna try and do in this truck is it's very similar to my old truck, and I actually really liked my old truck. I didn't have any issues with how it looked. I thought it was really, honestly, almost perfect, but with this truck, what I wanna try and do is all the small details that I never got to do in my first truck. Um, so the custom colored shocks, little things like that, just small attention detail that I wasn't able to do the first time around. So with that, let's go take a look at how this truck is all finished. You didn't think I was just gonna leave you with phone video, right? No way, let's go check out the nice footage. All right, well, there you have it. This video was pretty long, so I'm not gonna go into it in depth on before and after driving. I'm actually gonna do a cool kind of review comparison with a buddy. He's got a stock third gen that he just got, so we'll kind of put that against mine head to head. That'll be a nice way to, to kind of compare stock versus Carly. Uh, and then once I get the Carly axle truss on there, I'll probably jump this thing for you guys in a video. So that should be pretty cool. But today I just wanted to kind of break the ice, finally show you guys the new truck as it sits on the full Carly Dominator system so beyond pumped to see how this truck turned out and i can't wait to show you guys more in the future as i progress in this build pretty soon it's gonna have about 550 horse uh all kinds of other fun upgrades so stay tuned because there is some awesome stuff planned for this truck 